Fighting guild on the attack. We'll just have to wait and see who gets that first blood. Bit of a default to begin with. No big moves made. A little early kind of show of presence and force towards those B-Halls. But then it does seem as though it's this mid-take coming through. Yeah, and it's actually uh, it's seen over towards A that challenges the wall from Canada. Did a lot of damage as well. Had to burn his heal pretty much immediately. Guessing he had the light armor on the back of that as well. So, Camera take guild. And towards ropes here. The trap wire going to give away their position. And XMS is actually here to greet them as well, potentially. Oh, lucky. Ooh. Actually, yeah, lucky as well. Those four didn't explode up just as he was looking to pass. But Onkar trying to guess a little bit of a fake over. But now Q going to give it up. And nobody from Alliance... Showing their position just yet, but Kada potentially going to get isolated on site here. Catches the headshot, but your scene still comes out on top. Yeah, this is an unpleasant retake coming in. I don't know what they've got particularly to work with. We'll have to wait and see. The post plants look good. Three on site, two kind of split throughout, but already Hype's going to get himself towards the back of Pillar. Your scene wants a to swing, but one. that's a dangerous one. Now, Safe in the corner does find one. He knows there's another XMS is there. Great work from Safe. And a shutdown on Alliance this time. Now, talk me through what impressed you about that. You were saying, I believe it was the fault line that came in, potentially. It was, yeah. And Bonkar, again, selling that fate just a little bit there. It, it kept them guessing. And that's the main thing. XMS puts himself in a position where actually the hit comes through fast enough from Guild, where Cad is completely isolated. He, he can't then cross back over. Just the sheer number of bodies up in heaven on the side of Guild. Completely split that up. And right there, I mean, if you can isolate that one kill, the man advantage in pistol round, massive. Especially when you can lock out sight the way that they did. I mean, smoke over screens makes it so difficult for anybody to find re-entry. Oh, Hype's in trouble. <laughs> Hype's in real trouble. <laughs> oh, dear. Poor old Hype. Never fun going down that way. Bonk is going to clear that out. Now luck is... Trying to try his towards the site, but no real chance of this. They are, of course, working with very little. You got a, I think, a ghost is the most they've been able to bring out here today, and there should be a plant, quite a safe one at that. Yeah, it was client stacked up towards heaven stairs. Can potentially just looking to make this costly, but I don't expect anyone from Guild to overextend in this scenario. Drak actually going to find Lucker as smoke pops. Now creeping behind again, just looking for economy damage here. Yeah, they want to make it as costly as possible, but as if they might want to play exits outside and safe here to greet them. Oh, got to make sure they die here in terms of economy, but all stacked up. And Kata will trade that one, so it's one weapon at least. The last man standing, Kata won't find anything else. So, four will survive. Big opportunity for a bonus round here. Four specters on the board. By coming back in. Now, Spectres are pretty reasonable here. I mean, the choke points on this map are... Yes, there are, like, long-range sight lines, of course. But you you can create some some dirty, dirty choke points. I want to see what Draken does with this, too. He might just have to stick on where he's at if he wants to be in the right place for the bike coming up in front of this one. But Gil going to go quickly down towards middle. You're seen straight up and away. All of these flashes. Oh. Everyone's blind. Everyone is blind. <laughs> Back away, but look at the flank. XMS makes his way through the smoke. Does well, but Bonkar trades it. And now doubling down. It's going to be hype. Works his way through. Catches off Bonkar and now spots out Draken towards the bottom of mid. We're safe in this. Faith pretty far off. And now the spike's kind of lost here. Draken needs to try and stay alive. And it's kind of Sophie's choice. Where do they take it now? You've got B under wraps. Fear off up on top. This should be a comfy round now for Alliance. <laughs> As it goes oh, for the geez. TP across there. Safe actually finds Fear off, brings it to a 2v3. Still able to do some damage here. Hype going to clean it up though. Finds three, but three will fall on the side of Alliance. A costly round for them. We'll have to take a look actually what the purchase is going to look like. I'm looking towards XMS and Fear off. Lucker as well, actually, sitting down on 3k, so... Did three, yeah. And this, like. Initially, it looked like Alliance were, were going to deal with that aggression pretty handily. Everyone's blind. We're all safe. It's fine. Um, 
coming back in and you're asking about the buy xms not loving life but uh we'll take it and on the other side for guild a, a fair purchase across the board now it looks like a set piece to take some sort of map control coming in towards those beat halls already leo gonna sit a little bit further back towards that that's information found so they can maybe ascertain someone's playing dedicated towards the site maybe even pushed up so again small bits of information gonna trickle on through hype going walkabout shows a little bit of presence as well so both extremities now checked in on and guild focusing towards mid There's something again looking back at the previous split performances one of my biggest criticisms has been you're kind of getting lost in this default, right? They look for something on one side of the map, they drift yeah. away, and then it's 30 seconds left. But, I mean, early on here on Split, making the right moves, and they're attacking half. So they're about 20 seconds ahead of the beat. We usually expect them to see. Oh, my, that's perfect. Leo getting caught inside the suck. And the paint show actually nearly do a cadder, though. Is greeted outside of oh. ropes. You seen? Or we'll double down. XMS falls. So uh, that's not a pleasant shot to watch. Wait. Fear off making a meal of it. What's going on? What? This is horrible. These are some uh, nerve showing messiness. I don't know. Hype still on the site now. Information's going to be fed through. That's good for them. A two v two. And Hype knows that he's in a bit of a tricky spot here. Actually finds one. Oh. Great play. Spotting the plan. And surprised you seen didn't have to just tap and come off that because the commitment off the back. Of all of that information coming through, but a 2-2 now. This is perfect for Alliance coming back in now, once they got those rifles with them. Yeah, I mean, I spoke too soon. I like the moves the Guild were making in the early round there. And like I said, usually it's they don't convert that early kind of space that they find, especially through mid and B heaven. How many times have we seen rounds pretty much conclude themselves in heaven on B when Guild are playing split? So... To keep our eye on that. Now, no subtlety to that, just elephants stepping around. The lion's gonna hear all of it. You're gonna back away. If you're in that spike, this is quick progress being made. They are working on a weird bite. You've got Draken and Leo with a little bit more. Positions being noted, and here we go. Burst towards rafters. No one close by. They've now they've played aggressively. This is a little sketchy. You can get kind of pinched in on this. And they're still showing presence elsewhere on the map. Oh, good work. That's that's a danger man gone. So Alliance should be pretty solid now. Unless something goes terribly astray. That rifle is kind of left in enemy territory, not to be really picked up here. Fear off trying to be a a bold player trying to play that peak. I, I mean, you're kind of keeping that entire site safe from that side of approach, but Hype, though, well considered, breaking through quickly towards heaven to ensure no quick response can be made to that pick. Oh. Ooh, Leo actually catches uh, Hype ahead of that flash here. 30 seconds left. Like a six left in the clip. Back away from that, though. Actually placed flash, and you see, actually, to try and get the showstopper inside. Ooh. Look at that. Lucka and Kada both fall to it. How did this round go so badly for Alliance? Like, I mean... So, looking towards... It looked like the initial plan was maybe trying to get a little bit of a pinch towards A, kind of clear ramp, your Draken posting up and through. He gets nothing for this. Now, Yassine gets a free pick, I think it was, towards B main. So he works through that one, builds on in, and while this happens, I, I'm just amazed that Alliance gave them that. Yeah. It's like Hype was playing that perfect balance, I felt. Like that kind of like not too aggressive, but showing presence. And I feel like he overcommitted and just got punished for it instantly. And then suddenly Heaven and Rafters is super open. Yeah, and it fell in quick succession as well. That's the thing. It didn't really... Alliance didn't give themselves an opportunity to recover from any of what happened throughout the middle of that round. Go over three three buckies on the board here, Lauren. Rumor has it it got nerfed. <laughs> Have you heard any confirmation on these rumors? I, I couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> Let's see what Fearoth can do. Oh, God. hold your breath. Try and stay unnoted. 
Up and over. Up and over. That's okay. not bad. Fear off. Just out here playing Quake. Man's making it look so easy. Pain shell as well to follow. Ultimate now here. Let's see. Oh, that, that could be big. That could be big. It is. Fear off. Huge work coming out. And now safe just left scratching his head. Perfect play from Fear of no one knowing what on earth to do. And safe just back to the wall. Gonna find one, looks for the fog, can't get it. Alliance, what a way to turn it around again. Beautiful round. Beautiful round. A scrappy investment as well. And actually looking back, so perfectly placed this as well. Again, you've seen a bonk card. Just, there's no way you're getting out of that. No way whatsoever. As I say, I was worried about one of the players, but it looks like Guild are going to be able to squeeze out a full buy here. 4,000 overall left in the kitty. They have the Rolling Thunder from the Shadows and the Revive available here. Seen and safe, nowhere near to their ultimates. And again, similar setup once again. I mean, safe, doing safe things over on a lobby. This time around, actually, I'm going to be playing screen. So that allows Alliance to lean off towards mid and B more so. And as you can see, two of them tucked in ropes. That are looking to shut that down. But Lucker actually oh, caught no. sleeping. You see, just walks out. There's there's nothing to stop this walkout. And I'm not they, sure well, why they went for this like mid stack, right? Like they, they went for this like quad play towards mid. You had kind of two towards heaven side, like almost mailroom side, and then you had two towards ropes. Now, sadly for them, they've lost one player on either of those, and then the additional man was over towards A initially. This is... I, 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 don't get me wrong, Guild have definitely been exploiting middle. They've been walking it for sure. But at this point, you've got to kind of keep in check the basics. You can't let them get away with that. It's it's a calculated risk, but... I mean, you're on the wrong end of it. Fear off still here, though. <sighs> Forced away. This is really, really smothering work from Guild. You can see how hard Alliance is trying to fight for just an angle, and Draken whiffs it. Fear off gonna punish that, and now Fear off trying to find some more. His position is noted. Now the spike to be planted, but 20 seconds left. Oh, safe comes through from heaven. Perfect timing. Will slot his way through that gap in middle. Now it all falls to XMS, the new man. Or Alliance in a 1v4. Looking for a kill or two, potentially. What is this crosshair? Uh, it's making me feel very unwell. <laughs> is that a Mitch Man classic? Is that a oh, he's... Oh, it probably is Mute Man. He's up to his old, old tricks. Concealment. Concealment. I miss Mute Man. I do. Yeah. I oh, hope he's uh, doing all right. I'll mute randomly throughout the broadcast for you, just to. Oh, now that's that's nice. Yeah. That's n that's really nice. Thank you. I here, appreciate he's that. He's here in spirit. I hope I hope he's he's out there watching. You know he's out there just sweating watching this game as well. Just like you know, the lines are playing. He gets to be, he gets to be the observer for once. He gets to join the people in chat, not the actual observer, but to be an observer. I, I it's a poor word choice. Uh, four to three though. Poor choices from Alliance that round. That's a little strange. Um, I'm not sure what the idea was to not keep check of that push through, potentially. But now we just have an all-in piece. It's just like a straight-up just hone it A. And they're, they're going to be just fine, you see. Just carrying on forward. TP comes out, has a little look towards CT. No one there. Good information recovered. We're actually anticipating the plant for heaven there. Bam through will make Guild reconsider, but Spike going down now and everybody on the side of Alliance has got themselves over to this side of the map, so that's it. Ooh, the fault line was perfect. Rolling Thunder in response as well, but Fearoth somehow through the chaos will find two kills there. Fearoth is actually pretty nuts. Like, there's no disputing it. He's pretty nuts, but it is still... 5v2. It was a 5v3 till Califine and Yassine. Now, they're using this wall as pretty much the biggest divider. They get one, but you can see the trades come in perfectly. Well done to Alliance. Good spacing. Good retake. Trying to minimize threats. They'll keep four alive. Get the defuse and the round. This is a very close half. Like, as much as Alliance have lost a few in a really weird way, when they win them, they look really solid. It's, it's so hard to get a grip on. Well, this is... <laughs> 
The fact that he finds that first one and that ahead of the rolling thunder connecting, but also as well, XMS throwing down the wall completely splits that site in two. It allows Alliance to come out, you know, clear hell, clear anything on rafters, or all of these kind of tricky 50-50 angles that cause problems on the retake. And then they still have utility to invest to clear out site as well. Really, really good stuff from them. see this mid take in progress now and this is why I, I i like the idea from alliance to go for that kind of stack towards like catching this mid play that's been coming out of this play through um towards ropes it, it's a it's a fair shout they've been kind of pressured on this a couple of times but obviously leaving that gap open was the downfall for now though mid has been garnered but it looked like an a lean considering where the spike is three players here where's the end goal now One car getting up mid that early on, popping the trap wire. See Guild just trying to hold on on the back of it. But nobody really giving anything away on Alliance, so... Again here, last 30 seconds here, Guild going to try and force their way through. Find it anything. Just oh, XMS might actually get cleared out with that. The rolling thunder gonna get sent through heaven. It's gonna slow things down once again. 18 seconds left on the clock here. Guild need to find entry. You fought well. uh, it's on the cards, and well, a bit of a trade out. 10 seconds. They still need that spike to be down. You can see Kata on duty, just trying to keep them back. Tries to keep them safe, but Draken finds fear off. Kata on the turn gets one, but can't get the trade out effectively. You see, in there keeps it all in check. A 3v2. Now make it a 4v2. Actually, no, a 3v2 because Hype is doing that. It's now down to a 2v2 and Draken was already low and Hype is doing the dirty work. You see now left in the 1v2, his teammates have been just left in tatters. Huge round from Hype here. He's going to come through, be the front man. You see, actually finds that one for free pretty Ooh. much. He goes for the underhand nade. He's going to keep Lucker back for the time being. Aftershock going to clear him out. You see, actually swaps out, but it's six bullets left. He's creeping. Lucker sticking it right now. He gets the half. You see. Well, clutch that one out. It's third on the round. The Lions kept it close. That retake on Heaven, so good from Hype. Let's watch this one back. Timing could not have been better. Catches him there, catches the res. Info comes up. Draken on the swing. Draken was, was low short, but still, that was an excellent bit of play, making it just potentially feasible at that point. Yeah, a little bit off with it. I like the fact, you know, Hype's going forwards. He's low HP. He's trying to, you know, open up that 2v1 for him and Lucker. But you see him finding that one completely unopposed. Really unfortunate. Field once again. Again, up mid quick. This is... Uh, kind of goes... You see, that's going to pop the showstopper here and They're try and force it. a... Yeah, did he fire oh. it there? He must have fired it. No, they're backing away now. Oh, good. This game just feels like they know each other so well. They're almost over, kind of cooking it. You know what I mean? That you got this mad take now towards heaven. They've got a bit of oh. utility out. Pushes a bit of theirs as well. But look at it though. Bonkar, no flashes left. Jarkin still got a paranoia, but nothing on your scene. And he used the showstopper there. Luckily, I mean Leo and Jarkin still. Their utility, but a huge investment for for no value really. You you got to say no. Yeah. Hype knows what's up now. Firoth's going to try and slot on in here. Not going anywhere else. This is thirty seconds on the hit. Firoth now spotted. Oh. Now noted. This is good work here. Firoth's going to make really decent damage, but it's Leo to double down now. Luck has got a dirty angle. This could be good. Oh. No, Leo's better. 18 seconds. Spike on the way. Exactly Planted. Planted. Yeah, suddenly not looking so likely now. So it might be time to try and find a different approach, if anything. Wall still down over heaven as well. Just about to fire, but kind of going to pop it regardless. Do they decide... Invest the revive here. I mean, if they find a kill now, definitely doable for them. XMS going to try and get something set up. 
bolt line in response going to slow things down further for Alliance. It looks like they're actually just holding to maybe play Exus. Draken offbeat swings on rafters. Guild will slip away. Keep four alive in this round. Look, I really like XMS. Oh. Oh, do you? Ooh. Do you? It's just that crosshair was really upsetting me yeah. again, but, you know. Fair enough. What's their money like now? Because that was a rifle to be taken over. Ooh. Yeah, the, the, the summary would be not good. Not in good. short. Yeah. This should be what? If, if all goes to plan, unless you have like another mad round from, you know, maybe fear of hopping around. Uh, this should be seven to four. Um, Luck is having a nightmare. You don't love a zero six or zero eight, excuse me. And away we go oh, to the races towards B. This looks like just it's not necessarily a contact piece because they did send out the utility, but Firoth now knows he's in trouble. Jacine's going to leap on in, take him down. Sight's theirs. Now keep in mind they are fighting against you know Bucky's. Um, Sheriff's bits and pieces. It's not it's not wild. Um so you're kind of expecting smaller results, but they've been bullied through towards B. That was just brute force. Take the site, push on through. No worries on this. You can see safe just kind of playing those enemy lines and XMS. Man's been living the save life. Oh. Safe finally comes through on that lurk. Two members of Alliance Hype and Cat are just going to play exits on the outside of Garage, but only one member of Guild over this way right now is Bonkar. Ooh, oh. Just misses it, but he's actually going to flash himself. But, oh, no. I thought it was a flash, but it was a fault that line. That was nice. Ada will find for that sure. one. They're chasing down mid, though. Hype's heard this for sure. Not bad. Oh, if they can get another rifle. Wait, no. Okay, well, the rifles get kind of kept over, making it a little costly, but there's still three Last alive, the so house. the wealth can be spread perfectly fine. They're on, like, 5.2. They're, they're, they're fine. Um, on the other side, if they manage to maybe get a couple of those rifles away, that could have been great. Maybe, you know, force a, a better purchase for themselves, but I think they'll be okay going forward. I don't think anyone's in too much trouble, so either way... We have to see if they can avoid the 8-4 half. That's kind of what we're hoping we don't see for well, Alliance. I'd like a 7-5 because that's a little bit of a more comfort buffer, I feel. It is, yeah, but I was just about to say this is a much better feel from Guild on the attacking side. Uh, ooh, okay, let's say that. You're okay. seen just going to full-on swing. Kada does have his revive, so they can reset off the back with that. Leo does as well. through heaven. No one's there. This is no huge. one's there. And Locker's in the middle ooh. of No Man's Land as well. Here we go. It, maybe he gets one. He needs he needs some sick aim to lock these down low. Uh, Traded on eventually. Yeah. The route through heaven completely available yeah. and both of them caught out on the side there in kind of an awful position for it. Spike to be planted. Spike. And now he's down to XMS and Firoth. Now Firoth has been able to bail them out of a couple of tricky spots. We need XMS to go for it as well. No reason not to, but the utility. Hypoch is just going to be poured towards heaven. Yeah, Firoth... With a decent amount still, but it's a 2v4 here. They gotta find a kill now, and it's not gonna happen. Leo closes that one out. Just fear off their safe. Plucks him out of heaven. A convincing attack in half from Guild. And I was just looking back at it. It was actually 8 4 in the previous showing in the first half. And that's the alliance that came back on their attack in half. Maybe it's still to happen. Indeed. Is, uh, I mean, it's difficult, really. I mean, your, my eyes go towards Lucker for attacking half. He's, yeah. he's not sitting pretty right now. One and ten. And just... Uh, uh, just floating back between, obviously, ropes and heaven. Unable to find much success on the defensive half. But early on, looking like a heavy lean towards A. And it's Leo, again, expecting him to throw this wall down immediately. Let's see if they can pop in front of it. Leo is a very solid player, I will say. Normally gets at least a little bit of value, even if he does go down. You can see the immediate rotation from Draken coming in. Leo going to fade away, think, nah. Don't need to take that fight. Just bides his time. So at least pulled one rotation away from middle. So if that's the point of progress, then 
mission achieved, but nothing beyond that. They do have at least the kind of watch of mid from the cipher. You can see kind of making sure that no one can creep to sewers. So they're somewhat safe from that and, you know, all is utility in the right place, but Draken finds Lucker and just fades away. Now the new angle. Now Draken... Bit of a pistol arrow. But they have got ramp control, so quietly building up on this, but they did lose out on the man. And it leaves... <laughs> I guess... An opening here. Excellent. That's actually going to find you. Seen it. Oh, oh, that the spike. Off. That's a spike. Kada. Oh, a little overzealous. Oh. That challenge and fear off double dips on it. This is awful. No, you see, going to come no. back and go. What? XMS actually responds with two of his own here. Him and Hype left to try and recover this pistol round. 20 seconds left. Potentially going to find this 2v1 onto safe, but he's got a frenzy here. He's going to wait for them to get close and. With XMS on 7 HP, this is going to be really oh, difficult. Oh! That was just perfect! Look at the time. Can't do anything. Perfect. Oh my, safe. Very well done there. Very, very solid, safe pair of hands. Locking down the site. Didn't overextend, didn't panic. Peaked on the plant. Beautiful, peaked on the drop. This... This is a mess. It, it really is. Uh, I mean, Kanda with the initial solo challenge and then... Spiros coming back and it's like, yo, what just happened over here? <sighs> <laughs> that was just... Someone's made a mess in the vents. It smells terrible. No one's loving it. Uh, nine to four, though. This is an issue for Alliance. If you expect that build back, they now have to go against the odds. Nine rounds against them and the economy in the favor of the team leading, which is Guild. Alliance with only four... Clean eco here, aside from I think it was just a little ghost for XMS. And the underhand nade could do dirty, dirty damage as well, but it's all everyone's blind. Everyone's and once blind. again, this is very unpleasant, Valorant, if you're an Alliance fan. That was just a shutdown, bit of a grind up, but get the round over and done with, get onto the you get onto the real round here, get the guns out. <laughs> I mean, whichever team you support, I don't think anyone would have enjoyed watching that round. Mmm, beautiful. Um, EU Valorant, stunning. Yeah, some great crosshair <laughs> placement there behind oh, the flash. Tactical. Um, Bucky in the mix, Oof. a nade. <laughs> oh, it's wild stuff, man. Okay, I, I, I'm still not 100% sold on XMS on Astra yet. Like, I, I, I don't dislike it. I think he's been okay. IP, yeah, right? exactly the same, right? It's just that it's okay. It's not changed my world yet. Oh, Leo. Leo, run away, Leo. That's that's not where you want to be, man. you got to get out of there, dude. Alliance with a quicker pace to this. Maybe the right read as well. Bear in mind, Draken wasn't actively playing here even before he, le he kind of lent over late. Burst through all oh, the trade. Lucker, nice work from him. Keeps it moving. Gets down Bonker as well. You see him finally finds him, but this is a bonus round. This shouldn't be as sketchy as this is. This gets rifles! You see, no, you can't do this to them. Oh, he's done them dirty! <laughs> so well played from you seen. Again, he's one of the ones I come back to. Yes, we've seen guilds. It's been highs and lows, right? But on the highs, it's usually this man. And he looks so fantastic. Once he finds his groove, so good to watch. But, and I've got to say, Alliance just individually uh, looking a little a little quiet today. I, and, and this is the thing. I feel like I always miss the best games of Alliance. Maybe I'm, I'm just a bad luck charm for them because I always see, you know, when Mitch is cast them, they're sick. They're absolutely nuts. Today, they're just looking a little quiet on this map, at least. But it's first map, Jesses, maybe. Get it out of the way. Bounce back in on map two. 11 to four. They got to sharpen up here. As Guild, you know, at least the heavy hitters for Guild, I've got to say, they're on today. We've seen it. That's fine by me. Got Leo coming out. I'd say safe's on it as well. Your scene's delivering. Bonkar's just fine. Draken's there. It's, you know, it's all kind of ticking over. Now, this round is the bigger issue is the fact that this is probably 12 for Guild. So, well, Alliance are going to have to do something mental. I, I was just going to say, this is the problem with that A4 scoreline, right? If you come back in, you lose pistol and don't even yeah. get a comfortable position when you lose the pistol to, to try and force back into the next. You're at 11-4 before you know it and you're on a terrible buy. If you're seeing it just by time, there's a, a filthy flank through the sewers. There's a rat approaching and they have absolutely no idea. And there it is, Draken with one, with two. There's nothing you can do about it. They are caught in between a rock and a hard place. They choose to go towards heaven, towards the rafters. Now Leo gets contact, but look who's waiting. It's Jacine. 
and now just hype alive and get one, but that's about it. So well handled in the end by Guild there. Nice flank coming out, good timing from your scene. Not to get overly drawn into trying to, you know, eco cobra, but keeps it in check. And this is going to be now all or nothing for Alliance. Yeah. It is indeed. And looking at it, I mean, nothing online. They can potentially make a play for an orb and get XMS and luck as ultimates, but. I mean, really, they don't have anybody to close the distance on a rolling thunder, potentially fear off, but going to be an, an awkward setup to get that working, but doesn't look like they're going to make a play for either orb. You see? Okay. Uh, I mean, why not? Yeah. Freebie onto Kata. Bullying the way around. Safe just swings on the contact on the steps. You see still alive in this, just can back away. As it sounds, the three remaining players, they're, they're finding no entrance here. Guild are playing um, good, good Valorant at the moment. I, I think this is what we've been enjoying seeing overall from Guild is their swing up in performance, right? Yeah. It's that kind of stepping stone of, okay, well, we've seen the potential of what they could do, but we haven't seen it all come together at the same time. Now we're starting to see that little bit more of like consistency, which is very, very impressive. Now, again, mid under threat here, safe. Finds another. That's the spike now lost on the cross, so next players will have to work through. Good use from Hype to make them have to work for this, but dips one right back in. But Hype, nice work there, securing towards the, okay. the ropes. All right, Hype. Let's see what you got then. You want to just drag your team through this? Go ahead. Let's see what you've got. Hype and Furoth left to pull this off in a 2v3. Spike to hand, and away we go. But look at Bonkar. Nice positioning. Love to Catching that cross. Oh, Hype. This is sick work. You want to go one by one? Oh, you're seeing we don't do this. We don't do this sort of stuff, do we? Mm. Oh, apparently we do. Oh, and the hype. patience is perfect. This is everything. Hype has just outplayed them completely and utterly. And Draken now left in the 1v1. Or is it all Hype? No! Draken destroys the hopes and dreams of Hype, who did everything he could for his team. Denies the ace. Denies the round. Closes the map. Guild 13-4 on split here and dare I say it the best they've looked on split the last few times we've seen him yes we've talked about the high